Today we're looking at the launch function. Launch is another simple function to utilize within Power Apps. So over here on the screen, we have a launch button that we're gonna use, and we're gonna utilize this text box up here. Within this launch button, we're gonna to go to the action on select, and we're simply gonna call the launch function, and it's gonna expect a URL. So we could just type google.com here, hold alt and click on the launch button, and we've got google.com, very good. If we wanted that to be dynamic, we could use this text box that we have up here, the TXT launch two. And instead of that google.com, we could just use the text property out of the text box, run it, and type in bing.com. Did you know that you can pass parameters to the website that you're launching to? So for example, I could launch to google.com, and then I could pass parameters into it of what I want to search for. So let's hit the X and modify the launch. And let's add parameters here. You could pass parameters to another screen with these curly braces and just have name parameters. So a lot of search engines like being at Google, they'll have a parameter called Q, which is probably short for query. We'll put in a, we'll put in some search text. So I think what I'd like to do instead of actually launching whatever is in that text is I will put that as the query and then go here for the launch, google.com. And now I'm gonna launch google.com and whatever we type in this text box is what we're gonna search Google for. So I'm gonna run it and here we'll say Power Apps Tutorial <laughs> and we'll put my name in there. Darnese, we'll hit the launch button and I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> it took us to the Twitter. All right. Let's do a regular Google search. And there we go. There is the Power Apps tutorial website, which I'll show you guys. Hey, look at that. Now, let's say you don't want those launches to show up in separate browser. Well, there's a third parameter that you can specify. Now, the default is to launch into a new tab, but let's go into this third parameter here. There's actually an enumerated value similar to what we have for screen transitions. It's called a launch target. There we go, launch target. And there are two different values, new and replace. So new is the default. So if you just want the new, you could just not include this third optional parameter. Replace would actually launch using the current window, which a lot of times you wouldn't want to do anyway. But So I'll just specify new because I still want the new. I don't want to lose what I have in my project. In fact, what I'll do is I'll control S just to make sure I have a good copy of this. And that shouldn't have any difference on how this works, but I'll just go ahead and do it again here. Very good. Things looking good there. Did you know that you can launch to another Power Apps application? Let's say you had a huge application that you needed to write and you wanted to break it down into a dozen applications within Power Apps. Well, you could have links that would launch or buttons that would launch different windows or you could have them, <laughs> as you now know, launch in the same window and launch to those other Power Apps applications. What's great about this is that you can actually pass parameters into that application using the same syntax. For example, if your other Power Apps applications expected a parameter of Q, you could pass the value in right here. And in that other Power Apps application, you could use the params function to acquire that value that was passed into it. Isn't that cool? Before you go, would you like a copy of this Power Apps project? I have the MS app file available to you and I'll link it to you in the video description that you'll find below. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Apps struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Apps Deep Dive Masterclass.